Hey, good evening, folks. Welcome to another video by Genesis Savers. So today we're going to look at something familiar. This in this box, this very small petted box, is the another eighty nine saber serious like saber. This is very similar to the one that uh, the previous video I made around two weeks, two three weeks ago. So it's a very nice gloss finishing. So I'll be making three of these, and this is the second one that I'll be making. So um, I'll show you the internals of it. Um, this time, every every saber I make, every of the cedar saber I make is going to be unique. It's going to be slightly different. So for this one, uh, the intention is to have a bit of a more weathered uh, chassis design. So of course, um, the hill itself is glossy. There's no weathering down on the hill. It's meant to be very elegant very shiny very pristine fingerprint magnet kind of hilt um and you can see from here so what i'll be doing is that i'll be um attaching a blade to it um show you the different blade styles first before i go into uh, the chassis itself um show you some of the effects of the chassis as well as using bluetooth so um two buttons over here power and this is auxiliary so um, I have not turned on the saber yet, so I will go ahead and show you how to do it. So unscrew this at the back. Just pop this out. And this is the kill switch here. Just turn it slightly. And we are good. Put it back in. Push it all the way in. It will align itself nicely. And screw this back in. Power button. Auxiliary button. It's a bit plug that comes with it. I modified it a little bit. So let me show you how it works. So um the so there's a set screw here. I screw it a little bit, and this thing pops right off. So this is a non. It's, it's just a standard blade punk which I three D printed um the base myself because the ones that comes with it requires you to unscrew this thing. So it's a bit inconvenient. So this thing comes with. Stokes, um, MPXL, PCB board, NeoPixel setup, 20mm full range speaker and let's attach a blade and let's take a look at the different blade styles available. So let's put this here. So I'm going to use a slightly longer blade. I think this is a... Um, I can't remember how long this blade is so they can have uh, see the styles better. Um, together with this saber, you also, I'll be giving this free. A seven inch short blade just for you to play conveniently wherever you are so um, this will be come with a saber so let's attach this blade in and just tighten Tight I'm not gonna tighten it because it's actually a very good fit for this one inch blade here so there are around five fonts to it the first one is Emperor by Kyberphonics so I'll be turning on the blade um, going through some of the effects Double click it to go into the force mode so you can see how it swings, how it's different. So I'll tell you what, let me just go and tighten this a bit. Uh, okay, should be good. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? Standard random flicker. Swings. Standard responsive blaster blocks. Um, this whole blade style is by Fernandez. Um, you can play a track. Um, force mode. Threatening me, Master Jedi. Now you will experience the full power of the dark side. I am the Senate. So he goes into this unleashed blade style into a very unstable with pulse spike pulses. So this will be like this thing for 30 seconds or 60 seconds and after that you go back to his normal blade. But we're not gonna build about that. We're not gonna build on it. So let's go on to the next blade style. Next saber font. It's treason. So um this is a uh, Senate majority. It is obvious that this contest cannot be decided by our knowledge of the force. 
the cones by Kyberphonics. I'll show you the true power of the dark side. So this is a dual face blade. Um, in this in this setup, I try to give the different variant of the colors. So green, I know uh, something that knows that Count Dooku should be red. But I'm trying to give a different kind of uh, flavor to different color to the different fonts. So as you turn the hilt, just turn it, it becomes purple in a different style. So this is a more of a slightly erratic, unstable style, whereas the green is more of a standard stable pulsing. So by turning the hilt, it changes the color and the blade style itself. Typical Jedi, brave but stupid. You'll have to do better than that. Next, Lord Vader. Darth Vader. Uh, really rock Vader by Kissif, I believe. As it swings to an, I believe when you swing it, it goes into a bit of unstable format. And if you go to Force mode, it will have a similar unleashed blade style, unstable and with fight pulses. This is a blue it's a flame like blade. As you swing it, it turns red. You can't really see that well in the camera. <laughs> so, there you have it five blade fonts. So, um, I hope you like the setup. Now let's let's go in and take out the chassis and have a closer look at it. Um, so to pop the chassis is actually very simple. Um, if you have the, you can use the blade plug to do it. So you unscrew the bottom. Oops. And here, and if you press the top, it pops up at the bottom over here. So it's easy for you to pull it out. And let me put this down. Oops. Let me just look at the chassis itself. So as you can see, um, this is a 3D printed chassis. So I actually sanded it down to it's almost smooth. Um, did some painting on some of the design of the chassis. The previous one itself has the designs, but you can't see it that obviously because it's actually just embossed into it. So I use some um, gold oil paint, paint it over, and sand it down again. So this is the final look. Comes with a red profit board, the crystal chamber. I'm not sure you can see clearly. And it comes with Bluetooth, so we'll be cycling th this thing through using the Bluetooth itself. So it needs to be um, active and let me try to connect to it now using forcing app. So just to uh, introduce, there's the crystal chamber, there are these accent strips at the side and there is the um, Stokes MPXL PCB uh, connector. So you can see the different styles available. So I'm just going through the Bluetooth menu to select it. Okay. Let's take a look at it. I'm sure you see it. Let's see it. I cycle through the fonts. This is Count Dooku's. I'll show you the true power of the dark side. So you, from blue you face to this um, purplish greenish combination over here. So you twist the hilt, you can see it probably change color. Okay. I can see right. Next, 
Darth Vader. So this is um, Fernando's new crystal chamber style. So this is actually a cycle effect. So unlike most other crystal chambers, this one actually has four new pixels, new uh, four LED pixels inside it. So it gives a very nice cycle and glow effect. So while it is idle, there's just a simple cyclone effect, and we power on. Fits to read. So this has a saw effect, it goes left and it goes right, I'm not sure whether it looks, I think you can see quite well in the camera. And there's a single lock up. Blasters. Next. So I, I like this one. So when it's either it's got a flame effect coming from the bottom, it's just a very subtle flame. See over here. Random flame. And if you power on, it becomes a much larger flame. It's still a flame effect, just that like it fills the full bar. And we are back to the first. So it's a... Um, I think cyclone effect, a slow one yeah, that pauses from red to orangey yellow. Are you me, Master Jedi? So there we have it. That's all for the for the Bluetooth demonstration. I hope you like the accent strips that is made for this. It's a very cr cramful build. There's a lot of wires, a lot of things squeezed into this um, small chassis itself. So to turn it off, just rotate this a bit and it's powered off. So um, access to USB is via uh, a cable. I'll, I'll provide this L-shaped cable that fits nicely into this slot over here. So no worries, you can still update some of your blade stars if you know how to do it. But to remove the, U the, the SD card, you have to remove this, the back part of it. There are two screw set screws over here, remove it. The, this cover will pop up and you can actually tilt up this uh, profit board to access it. The buttons are also accessible here for those who are worried that you can access the buttons. So there you have it. I hope you like this, this design and this um, look of it.